From kitchen gadgets to RV accessories, these are some of our favorites for our Travato GL. So come along and see some of the things that make our life on the road easy, more convenient, and more fun. Stand on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come my way and I'll see you at the top. So we have had our Travato GL for almost a year now. We're filming this in October 2021 and uh, we came to us used, only six months old when we bought it. And we love traveling in our camper van. It's a great shuttlecraft for us off of our boat and a great cross country vehicle to get between our boat and our bus, which is what we are currently doing right now, kind of taking the long route. Yeah. So there's a lot of things though that, you know, living in a small space, you really have to focus on the things that make your life better, make more efficient use of that space and are, you know, just kind of improve things. And so we're going to talk today about all the little accessories, the little things we've bought that make living in this Travato better. Yeah, because the Travato comes with some really cool features, but it doesn't have everything that you might yeah. want. And uh, we're going to do a separate video on the modifications that the prior owner and us, us have done on this Travato. Yeah. We're defining accessories as things you can buy and not have to necessarily install with screws. Yeah. So <laughs> mods, screws, electricity, things like that, things that are slightly more intimidating accessories, you could just go buy them and start using them tomorrow. And I just want to really preface this. All of this stuff we bought ourselves, none of this is sponsored. And if you buy some of this stuff on Amazon, we might get a little bit of ka -ching, but that's not our focus. We're here just to share what some of our us. favorite stuff. Let's get to it. So the first thing that you might typically do when you pull into your campsite is figure out if you are level or not. And if you're not, how you get level. Now, most vans don't come with automatic leveling systems. They don't have inflatable airbags or leveling jacks. So you need to bring your own leveling system or find something to put your tires up on. Leveling blocks have been a staple in many RVers setups for this sort of thing. But at the beginning of the year, we found these from Van Life Outfitters. They're a US distributor. So we decided to go ahead and buy a set of these and try them out. They're called flat jacks and they are inflatable. We bought a USB rechargeable battery operated inflator on Amazon that we use to easily inflate these guys and they give us 4.75 inches of flexibility. We bought two, we got a pair of them so that we can level any two uh, wheels on the van. It gives us a lot of flexibility. We just roll the tires on top of these and inflate and we can adjust for each side of the van. These have been actually quite awesome. They have impressed us more than they thought they would. Uh, Definitely more expensive than blocks. They're about $300 for a set, so they're a pricey investment, but we love them because you can wash them off really easily and we can store them. We actually have a spot right next to the toilet in the bathroom in a little uh, holder for them. We just set them in there so they're always easily available right when we pull into a campsite. The, the next step of setting up an RV when you get someplace is hooking up the water and electric, assuming you're going someplace with any sort of hookups. And well, it's, there's a lot of accessories that can make doing that easier. Uh, one is well, you probably do want to have a surge suppressor slash circuit checker that will tell you if the pedestal is miswired, which we have run across several times and will pretend protect you from some electrical faults. So having these is handy. And then as well as having a whole set of different power adapters so you can plug into 15 amps or 30 amps or 50 amps. You know, all the different type of connectors you might run across is great. And we even have a very long generic extension cord in addition to our 30 amp extension cord so that we can reach like if we're plugging into somebody's um, driveway or a garage, we need to get power further away. So super handy to have that sort of electrical flexibility when hooking up. Now, on the waterfront... I thought we are waterfront. <laughs> yes, we are camp waterfront. But on the waterfront, you know, we are actually taking advantage of a mod that we'll talk about in a future video that lets us have our sewer hose basically hanging under the rear bumper. And because this slot has never been used for sore, we actually keep our fresh water hose and our water filter and our water pressure regulator stored in here. And this is super handy because when we get some place and the bike rack is on the back, we don't want to have to undo the back of the van to get at hoses and stuff. This is just right here. 
and lets us fill up very, very easily without having to disassemble the back of the van. If anybody who's been following along knows that we absolutely love our e-bikes and um, getting around on them. And so we consider one of our favorite accessories that makes this possible are uh, Rocky Mount's backstage bike rack, which swings from being on the back of the van to on the side of the van very easily. And so that lets us, you know, get at the back doors to get at all the stuff inside of here. So the backstage um, swing out bike rack is absolutely essential for our style of van life. And then another thing that kind of goes hand in hand with having the bikes on the back of the van is when the bikes are on and particularly the bikes are covered, the normal license plate spot is covered up as well. So we installed a little uh, uh, powered uh, license plate mount. We'll talk about how we installed this in our mods video, but it lights up the license plate and attaches to the van ladder. Now, one other uh, cool thing that we have here in our accessories in the back is an setup for an outside shower. We saw this as one of the features on the 2022 uh, Travato when they revealed it. They have a, actually a bar that goes across and a shower curtain. And we're like, hmm, that's actually a really great idea because there is the outdoor shower hookup here but no real privacy if you need to rinse off at the beach or you're at a campground like this and you don't want to use up your gray water, you just want to shower outside. And so we got a shower curtain and some magnets and you can just stretch it across and have a wonderful space for taking an outside shower. Yeah, with, of course, with biodegradable safe soaps or just water, because sometimes all you just want to do is have a nice hot water rinse after you've been swimming at the beach. All right, let's round up some of our outdoor stuff. We do carry two flat solar panels. These are just old panels that we had from the bus when we were testing flat panels, uh, but they just store really nicely in the back of the van and the Travato comes with an exterior solar input to complement the ones that are on the roof. So this just gives us a little bit of extra power when we are boondocking. We do keep a set of chairs. Currently we have strong back chairs. This is actually our second site. We had had the first, um, replaced under warranty. We're not totally happy with them because they are already showing rust and wear. So if you have recommendations for a good set of outdoor chairs, we will be looking for a new set when these are at their end of life. So let us know what you like because we need some recommendations. We also have this bamboo table from Campco, I think it was. We bought it on Amazon. It collapses and folds up really nicely. It has two different levels. You can have it kind of coffee table or table height. It's great when there's not a picnic table at a site to use. We'll also use it in very short mode on top of the bed to use kind of as a standing workspace or extra prep space for the kitchen. And it's, they store on its side next to the solar panels underneath the bed. We honestly don't use this very much, not as often as we thought we would when we first got it. So we'll see if it makes the cut in about another year's time or not. But we do love our Coleman fold and go grill. It is a little propane grill. It's just enough for the two of us. It is small, it's compact. This one is two years old now. It's holding up great. It's only like 50 bucks on Amazon. We love this thing. It's been great for the van life. And of course, anytime you're outside, there's usually bugs, mosquitoes. Our thermocell is fantastic. Uh, it does help clear the space of mosquitoes so we can be outside longer. Um, it works. Well, I can't explain it. It just works. <laughs> All right. And of course, a mat. Um, we didn't want something that would stay wet um, if it's been out left outside. So we love these ones that just kind of let everything flow through. These are by Seagear. They're sand-free mats. Sand-free is a little bit of a misnomer. You still get some sand inside, but it does trap a lot of the sand and stuff as you're walking in and out of the van. And they're great. They come in all sorts of patterns. We like this size. It's great for the van and it folds up really compactly for storage when it goes on top of all the stuff when we pack up the back of the van. And two other accessories of note is we have a portable collapsible water tainer that we can use to ferry water to the van and suck it up into the um, suction fill if we need to refill the tank when we're, um, well, dry up camping where there's no water nearby because the tank in the Travato is pretty small. And we also have a collapsible traffic safety cone to mark off a site or to keep somebody from driving through our site, which has happened before. It's, you never know when you might need this in a, any sort of traffic situation, just to have a cone on hand that doesn't take up much storage space. And this fits really nicely into the cabinet in the back. 
Okay, so we like to utilize this space behind the seats when they're turned around when we're still so that we can store stuff. That's where the bike helmets go and a lot of other stuff. And we also love being able to use these hooks to, well, hang jackets. So that's where we can get these out of the living space. These are just uh, headrest hooks that you can get on Amazon. Uh, great for hanging up anything that you might want to. We also, over the uh, seatbelt harness, we just hang a laundry bag. So that's a great way to get the laundry out of the living space, but still convenient. Now, we did not like the window shades that came for the side windows with the Travato. They were on this wire thing and you just couldn't really fold them up really well. Uh, so we went ahead and had a set of these made from Vanmade. Um, and then we just went with the uh, Reflectix on the outside so that it would reflect sun, which is like really in my eyes right now. So I'm gonna, <laughs> and they're nicely insulated. They fold up really nice. They have magnets. So they just clip right in really easily. And you can also fold one down, which as you see there, we have an air vent up there. These we got from Euro Camper, ordered these in a while back from some fellow friends who had them. These are great if you just want a little bit of ventilation in the front of the cabin where air conditioning and other things don't really reach. Helps keep the heat from building up in the front of the cab. Great for storage, great for when you're dry camping, great for summer camping too. So we love these things. Uh, they just store right in these side mat pockets and we just take them out when we, we are parking for any length of time. So this storage area up in the top front of the Travato is commonly called the pizza oven. It gets kind of hot and it's a little bit of an awkward storage space to use. But we saw on the Travato forums of uh, links to these um, these UU uh, collapsible uh, storage drawers that just fit three of them across perfectly. And they're a great place to store tech, extra food. Um, we've got manuals up there, any sort of things. And it makes it really easy to access. And then you've got a little area behind for like coats or extra towels and stuff like that. So it's a great way to organize this storage on the Travato. We also, you know, Keep a hammock, a fold-up hammock up there too, and uh, really nice to deploy this out in the woods. It's just a cheapie from Costco. A few other cool things we have up here is a, you know, an accessory charger that we love because we have uh, iPhone 12s and iPhone 13s that have the mag mount. So just putting that there, it's right accessible to control the CarPlay and just do other things as you're driving. And we also have another USB charger over here, same sort of thing, you know, the mag mount that will charge an Apple Watch, charges our AirPods, and our phone right here, and it's kind of just uh, use a little museum putty to hold it on to the table. Makes the office area convenient, and we don't have to put this away when we travel. We have a, love having this um, sort of iPad mount, super small and convenient, that we use all sorts of different ways to do Use this for FaceTime calling, move this all around. We take this outside when we're doing fitness classes with a, a Apple Fitness or anything else. It's easy to set this up any place. You can rotate it easily. And we've even discovered that you can hang it in the space over the bed in the back just by kind of tucking that into one of the back bedroom cabinets. Ah, yes, this is something the original owner put in. This is just a, a small USB power outlet. It's well, it's got USB and AC plugs. But having the cord wrap around and plug in here gets power outlets where they're actually useful as opposed to having to have them dangle down from here. And then kind of up in here, we'll be doing a future video on all of our tech accessories and internet connectivity accessories. But this is our Travato's tech cabinet where we have all of our internet connectivity gear. And we change that out all the time. And we'll have a separate video on that. And in our mods video, we'll talk about our super cool monitor swing arm and how we put in a big monitor instead of a TV. So, little secret, we love seltzer water. Like, just regular seltzer water. Not the hard, I mean the hard kind's fine too. But, and on the boat we have, and on the bus, we keep a soda stream, which keeps us away from using lots of cans. Not room for it in the van. So we've made the compromise of having to carry cans of fizzy water. And uh, trying to store them has been a challenge. So we found just a basic kitchen uh, can roller holder thingy that we can hold them here because we can only fit five at a time in the fridge. So this holds a whole bunch ready to go. We just replace them in the fridge so they're nice and cold. We're ready for our next uh, fizzy beverage during the middle of the day. For the kitchen, you also know we're a bit of winos. We love wine, so we have some uh, insulated uh, metal glasses, so we're not dealing with glass in the van, no 
risk of breaking things like that. Uh, for opening our wine, we love the cork pop. You just insert it. It's got a little cartridge and it just, and it just pops the cork right out, makes it super convenient. We also keep just a little aerator so that we can make, uh, cause we're usually too lazy to decant or anything like that. So that makes our wine drinking a lot more like at home when we're in the van. Now for washing dishes, the uh, prior owner of our first van, uh, gifted us this dish dryer that he uses. So he, we just set out a microfiber towel. We keep a whole collection of these for cleaning, do the dishes in the sink, and then just lay this out for drying the dishes. Because the G model on um, Travado does not come with anything, unlike the K model, which has something integrated in. Um, underneath the sink, uh, speaking of those microfiber towels, our stash of them and other cleaning supplies. But we also keep a three quart instant pot in there. On the bus and the boat, we keep a six quart version, the full size. Uh, the three quart is a perfect size for fitting in the van so we can do smaller instant pot meals because we can't always grill outside and don't really like using the propane stove all that much. We are induction cooktop spoiled in our other vessels, but we will if we have to. But we do like the Instant Pot for cooking meals, one pot meals. Um, these fans here, they are USB rechargeable. We've got them routed into the tech cabinets. Um, they are battery operated, so they can operate without being charged or we can move them around. They clip on nicely. They're nice and quiet and they just give us a little bit of extra ventilation. We have one up at the top and one here. Um, and a big reason for that is, well, if you're running the air conditioner, it's way the heck in the back and the airflow just doesn't make it up into the front of the cab where the heat really builds up. So this helps bring forward some of that air and gives anyone who's sitting up front a little bit of a ventilation up here, which is really important, especially when you're in warmer camping climates. So swinging back here into the bedroom, um, we actually absolutely love the bed of the GL. It's made for cuddlers and it's, well, it could be a little bit more comfortable by default. So that is why having on under here, just a simple little matrix, uh, latex mattress topper on top of the built-in just makes this one of our most comfortable beds. Just love sleeping on this. And of course we have here our other most important mattress topper that goes on top of us to make a nice little sandwich. It makes sleeping here super comfortable and cuddly. Now, also showing off some stuff in the bedroom, the space underneath is you know, a little tricky to access. This is where we have Kiki's stuff, the litter box and the scratching post and her food robot. But we also have found, like, where do you store shoes and not have them be everywhere in a van like this? And we just found a Tupperware bin like this becomes a place to stuff our shoes. All the dirt gets shaken off and stays inside here and not all over the floor. And it's easy enough to move out of the way, move where you want it. But Normally, it just tucks here and it's completely out of the way and really easy. And then, well, speaking of dirt that shakes out on the floor, it, you always are tracking in dirt into a van and um, it's, it's a challenge to keep on top of it. So we started using a, a Black & Decker Pivot, this little small um, rechargeable uh, vacuum that does a really good job. It has actually a built-in crevice tool and um, you know, folds up really nice. It's easy to clean and empty and it's rechargeable. So we just have a little charger tucked under the table, um, plugged into that uh, uh, power outlet on the table. And so whenever the van's inverter is on, this is always topped up and always ready to grab and go and keep the floor clean. First of all, we use just grocery bags as our trash bags. So uh, the prior owner had installed this nice little storage unit right here for stuffing the bags. It's great because it doesn't really block any of the entrance. And we just use a suction cup hook to hang one of the bags. We have tried using little tiny uh, garbage cans and they just get in the way. Uh, it's just, it's already a tight enough space and these have been working out really great. With those suction cups, we actually bought those as a set. So we have suction cups all throughout and we use those as our towel holders. This is where our loofahs go and, um, and more microfiber towels. I'm just addicted to these things for cleaning. Um, so they're everywhere. And uh, we also have the, from the same company, the suction cup uh, bin that holds all of the bath stuff because this is a wet bath. This is where we shower as well. And uh, so the soaps, the toothpaste and brushes and everything will just go right here, which makes it super easy to get those out. So you're not having to go into the deeper storage back here. Now, 
up here is kind of hard to keep organized. It's one space. You get a whole bunch of stuff in there. It seems to be constantly falling around. And you might have a lot of little stuff that you're carrying. So what I did is I found this roll-out bag. And I love it because when we need stuff, I keep it. it just rolls out and has these individual compartments where we keep a lot of our bath stuff. And if we're like going off to a bathhouse, we just grab the one we need and act they're actually Velcro, you just take it and go. So this has been super convenient. It fits nicely up there and it just rolls out real nicely so we can get the stuff that we need. Now, one of my complaints about the Travato, seeing this mirror is kind of hard. It's awkward. You've got this wheel well here and the light is behind you. So you're getting this like shadowed effect. So if I'm doing my makeup, really lightly. I'm really not big into makeup, but when I'm getting ready to do a video or a video call or something like that, or we're going to go be social, I at least want to look somewhat human. Uh, so I have this suction cup uh, makeup mirror with a lighted thing on here so that I can do that really quickly. Chris uses it also for shaving. Uh, it's been super handy and it gets, you know, it's a mag magnifying one too, because, you know, my eyes are getting older. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier instead of trying to use this mirror that's just in a really awkward location. So the broom, uh, this is a collapsible camp broom. This one's kind of old, it's kind of broken. The uh, automatic switches don't actually work anymore, but it folds out, but it's really great just for doing a quick sweep on the floor if we don't want to get the little vacuum out uh, because Miss Kiki doesn't actually like vacuum. So we try to be nice to her and use the broom whenever we can instead, but it just folds up really nicely there. All right, and coming full circle back to these flat jacks that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they store in the bathroom when we're not using them or when we're done with them, they're, we get them nicely cleaned up. And if they're not cleaned up, if we don't have time or the ability to, at least they're going in the bathroom where we can clean it up later. They fit nicely on the side of the toilet right there and our prior owner had actually put this strap in we don't know what he was using for it he attached it to the back of the uh, faucet sprayer thing and used one of these snaps that goes for the shower curtain which you don't actually need in here and that just secures those in there and they're out of the way when we don't need them and they're super convenient to grab when we need to set up in a camp real quick i just come back here grab them put them under the tires that i want and he rolls on top of them and then we inflate them. So easy. And uh, we're not having to jiggle with the, the bike rack or anything like that to get them out. So, can I come out of the bathroom now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we have this much crap. I mean, it's good crap. It's in the van, in a small van and not feeling cluttered. No, the, everything has its place. Everything tucks away. And when everything's put away, it's just out of the way. And when we need it, it's all super convenient and easy to get at. Yeah, like I forgot to talk about our Lucy light. This is a nice little solar rechargeable light. We just set it outside and then it just hangs from these little hooks that we have at the entryway. And if we don't want the bright lights that the Travato has, they're like super bright. I wish they were dimmable. This gives us a nice glow in the van at night and it's just super convenient. It just, it hangs mid coach. So we really yeah. love these. They're inflatable. You, then they yeah, store no when storage. you need them. And so, so there's everything about living in a van is all about compromising size, space, every, you know, just what fits and stuff. And, but you can live a very, very abundant life with all, without feeling like a lot of trade-offs. No, definitely. I mean, this stuff doesn't get in our way and um, it, it's just great. Now that's a lot of stuff that we just went over. Um, you will find links to where we got all this stuff in the accompanying blog post to this video. So go on over there. We keep that updated as also when we uh, change out gear to, uh, on our gear center on the Technomadia blog. And uh, so you can see what other stuff we're using in the van. You can also see what we use in the bus and the boat and all the other yeah. stuff, our fitness stuff, our play stuff, our audio vid visual stuff. Um, yeah. Everything's there as well. And, and if you have any favorite stuff that you think we might like that you know we haven't mentioned well let, let us know about it you know give a comment or a shout out and say hey you you probably would love x because a lot of the stuff we first learned about from other people who recommending it and that's how this stuff spreads through the rv community is people share their little favorite tips just like this yes so thanks for joining in we will have another video out similar to this one about the modifications that we've made maybe we'll have one about internet and let us know if there's other topics about the travato and how we use it that you would like to see us create because it's no fun creating videos that you guys don't want to watch. That's what we're all about, is helping you live your best life. <laughs> Take care.
We create these videos just for fun and we'd love having you along for the ride. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.